get us together. I had something to drink and everything. I, I am an adult. I can still talk. Okay, like, this is a little bit of a lit tutorial, you guys. Honestly, though, I don't think I'm going to step out on these heels. I'm about to put on some sparkly flats because I'm going to be uncomfortable. But yeah, y'all, this romper is giving what it's supposed to give, okay? What's good, YouTube? It is me. Kimberly B, as you can clearly see below. Okay, I'm just playing. It is me, Kimberly B, as you can clearly see below. And this is how I'm coming today, looking a hot freaking mess. Here's my hair, my natural hair. I was waiting on you at the dog. We're taking a break from this natural hair and I wanted to bring y'all along with me to give y'all some inspiration, you know, like blow yourself up, girl. It's budget friendly, okay? I guess for the glow up, we're going to start off with the outfit. Now, these shoes are some heels that I got in Indiana, but I'm sure you can find them anywhere. Um, they're selling on Fashion Nova, etc. But I figured this weekend I can bust out with these, you know, because because we're going up, okay? Like, that's the energy we're giving, okay? These shoes were only $24.99, so we have these and then also for the outfit i got my outfit at some place called papaya i'm here in dallas texas so this is my outfit i did just wash this in the washer so i got it like twisted in and out but this is a size large and it is like a jumpsuit a baby body jumpsuit y'all i'm gonna be out here showing out in this little outfit I got some bundles. Um, I got this off of Amazon. I'm actually gonna do my own DIY sewing and I'll take y'all along there. But yeah, I'm not sponsored or anything, so I don't have no links for y'all. Um, I found it on Amazon, so I'm gonna actually like test out this hair, see if I really like it before saying anything, cause I don't wanna lead y'all wrong, okay? So yeah, we're gonna put some bundles in our hair. Um, yeah, we're gonna give her a good wash, a condition, a braid down. So I went ahead and took all of my bundles out of their original packaging and gave those a good wash using the silicone mix brand of um, hair supplies and then I also used Aussie brand products on my natural hair to give a good wash and conditioning before then braiding my hair down so that I would have a base to sew my wefts of hair onto. Also, this was so lazy of me, but I did use my B wig lace tint spray, but honestly, it just doesn't give what it's supposed to give. If you do not bleach your knots first, I was just being lazy and I was like, okay, we're gonna try this out, see if it works by itself. But usually I always bleach my knots. I should have done so this time as well. And I'm sure the sewing would have looked so much better, but this time I did not bleach my knots. I was just trying to see if I could get away with it. And I did not y'all. But <laughs> you also want to make sure that you are taking care of your natural hair up underneath your um, sew-ins and your wigs as you're going, y'all. So I like to use my Africa's Best Supergirl Moisturizing Scalp Conditioner Grease. I've been using this stuff for years and years, ever since I first went natural. And then other than that, you are ready to get going. Okay, you guys. So it's Friday and I'm still working on doing my hair. When I sew my bundles on, I just leave them like double like this and then go from there of course this is not like a full hair tutorial i'm just showing y'all how i'm doing my hair like in brief clips but if you do want an in-depth video about how i do a sew-in i have a really good video um that i'll link below so that y'all can see how i really like in detail how i do a sew-in So I have officially got done sewing in everything. I'm gonna pluck it a bit and honestly, I'm kind of thinking like, I tweaked to just be like, no, I'm not gonna bleach the nuts. I'm just gonna spray some stuff on it. But it is what it is, cause it's definitely on my head now. So I'm just gonna be using my um, 
concealer to try to make the best of it. Because if you get really close, you can definitely see it's not like, you know, it's not as seamless, you know, but. For the sake of everybody's ears, I don't know what they were doing outside. It was some type of construction. <laughs> But yeah, I'm just explaining that I use that little eyebrow razor in order to cut the lace of my closure in order to, you know, of course, not have a big piece of lace there. And then I also have my Freeze Blaster Spray by the Got To Be Glue brand. And I spray that on after cutting off my lace to make sure that the edge of my closure is laying flat to my scalp or forehead for the sake. <laughs> what's up back again in the bathroom it's the next day it's been a process but at least i got my hair done that's number one of course before you do any makeup you want to do your basic skincare so here we go first i'm using i use my cetaphil i've already gave my face a wash so i use my cetaphil foaming facial cleanser and then for my moisturizer i have this neutrogena hydro boost water gel and i put just a dab and then spread it all over my face sometimes i do like to use my bio oil just like in my hyperpigmentation areas also i like to clean up up underneath my eyebrows using a little eyebrow shaver I got my lashes on. Brand of these is called Kiss. I don't have the actual thing because like I wore these before, so I just put them back on. But they're by the brand Kiss. They're the 3D Extreme number 42. And then I just did my eyebrows. Um, and then I put some concealer under my eyes. So I don't have a full face just yet, but I went ahead and started working on my hair. So here I just have a wand curler. And this was my completed look, y'all, after I did my makeup as well as my hair. I took some cute pictures that day, so I figured I'll include those. Now let's get to our nails. All right, y'all, coming to you live from Lit Nation. What you gotta do is, okay? Get you some wine, put a little fruit, a little, um, a little piece of ice, and it's and some good music in the back. Just playing some SZA and some Summer Walker, you know, R&B music, just chill vibes, you know? So yeah, get you a cup of wine. So for one, be weary. I have some scars on my ankles because of my love of little cat. Get it together. I had something to drink and everything. I, I am an adult. I can still talk. Okay, like, this is a little bit of a lit tutorial. So, this is my foot bag. Shout out to my mom. She got it for me at, I think we got it at, um, we got it at Marshall's, yeah. So yeah, we got this foot bag at Marshall's. It's so cute, pretty and pink. And it was only like 20 bucks, really, really good deal. But this is great to use if you're in between going to the official pedicure shop or if you want to do like pedicures at home, DIY. For my polish today though, I found this really cool little set and it's called the Tips and Toes Matching My Cure and Nail Set by Perfect, no, by Salon Perfect. And my color is Flamingo Flare. Press on nail set plus a polish for your toes. Like, and guess how much this costs? Four freaking dollars, you know? As the video goes on, I will tell you more about the press-ons themselves, but I did really love the nail glue as well as the polish that came in this pack. I ended up having to take those orange press-ons off of my nails, but for the sake of this video, I'm just showing you how I do my own pedicure as well as my own press-ons. I did leave the clips in, but by the end of the video though, I did have to replace the nail color on my toes and my press-ons with a different one because the orange press-ons that came in that pack just were not working, y'all. I also have some China Glaze. And this is my favorite no chip top coat that you put on after you finish using your regular polish. I also have some toe dividers and some sugar scrub. 
and this is by the tree hut brand it's the shea vitamin c kind i also have some bio oil and i put that on my skin to help with the scars on my ankle and other than that i just have basic nail doing supplies you're also going to need some form of soap um, i'm just using my regular um, body wash this is one of the body washes that i have and i feel like it will do well cheers <laughs> So to start our pedicure, I started off by putting absolutely way too much freaking soap inside of this dang on foot bath. Please don't be like me. Don't do this. Don't. Just don't do it. One other tool that I didn't tell you guys about yet was this big paddle tool. And it is a foot scraper. But you need to be extremely cautious when using it, y'all. And look at all those dang on bubbles. I was literally like scooping bubbles out of this thing the whole time. <laughs> So once the water finally was cool enough for me to even put my feet in, I put my feet in the water and I just sat back, drank my little wine, and I just soaked and just vibed and chilled myself away. So you also want to take this time out to use your foot scrubber tools as well as any pumice stones if you may have one. Also, once again, please be so careful if you use one of these style of um, foot scrapers because they're really dangerous and you can get cut. I accidentally cut my... Um, like the side of my foot the first time I used this thing and I was bleeding for like a good 20 minutes literally so be careful So I also took this opportunity to use some of my sugar scrub on my feet in order to get extra dead skin cells off of them for you know the best looking smooth nice toes you know so this sugar scrub that I'm using is the um, vitamin C vitamin C <laughs> Vitamin C, I got it right finally, Shea Sugar Scrub, and this is by the brand Tree Hut, and then it has the Shea Butter and Vitamin C in it, as well as Alpha Hydroxy Acid, and it's meant to give you brighter looking skin, and also to get those dead skin cells off of there, so we don't have no crusty toes because it's summer, you know, we can't be out here like that. And then lastly, to finish up, I also went in with my loofah scrubber in order to do some extra exfoliating to my feet and getting off those dead skin cells and dirt. So also, because I had so much frequent soap inside of my foot bath, after dumping this, I did have to do a rinse of my feet with some nice warm water in order to make sure that I get all the soap off and products off of my feet, y'all. So after I use my foot bath, I also go in with my nail clippers in order to neaten up the look of my toes. I like to keep them relatively like square-like if I can, and I like that straight edge. So I did my best in order to, you know, chop those so that they look square. And then I also went ahead and used my nail filer as well as my other nail supplies in order to get my cuticles together. I have a little cuticle clipper as well that I like to use if I have like any cuticle skin on the edges of my nails just to give that neat like salon look. Once you have them shaped to your liking, it is time to paint them. So um, once again, this was my first time using the Salon Perfect Kit that I have found at Walmart. Um, it was a really good deal for the price, but like I was just very disappointed with the nail tips themselves and I understand that they were definitely cheap but they were just so flimsy that I couldn't even wear them beyond like that day so um, I was able to utilize this polish though it comes out as like a matte look but it's a very very pretty color so I was very like satisfied with the polish itself um, and then also if you don't mind having like a matte nail color look then um, if you want some gloss to it I definitely recommend that china glaze that I showed you guys. It's like my go-to top coat whenever I'm doing my own like nails to paint my nails because it does let, allow my polish to last a good while. So we have officially finished our toes, but of course I'm going in with my bio oil skincare oil on my skin in order to hope to heal all of these little freaking scars caused by my cat. 
I also have this OPI cuticle oil and I like to put that around the edges of my cuticles just to help to keep them healthy. And then that is all. Next, I also went in on my hands in order to do a DIY press-on manicure. So I did originally use the press-ons that came in the kit, but y'all, I'm telling you, like, I only had them on for just a few hours that same day and I was like, nope, I gotta pop these off because they were just too flimsy for my liking. I was unable to, you know, really wear them comfortably because like, it's like you'll like use like a washcloth and then it bends, you know, the nail is constantly bending. So I was like, I can't do it. But one plus, and one thing that I will say about the kit, their nail polish glue is the bomb. Like it was so hard to get these things off of my freaking nails, y'all. I am telling you, you know? So if anything, use their glue they have some bomb nail glue but the press on itself you might have to try a different one or a, i don't know a different one from a different kit by them but as for the ones that come in that kit it was a no for me i'm sorry but when you're putting on press ones i still wanted to show you guys how i do it so i went in with my buffer tool and i just rough up my nails a bit you also want to dehydrate the nail bed before you get started with some acetone so that you don't have like any oils on your nails so that you're press ones can stick pretty good so of course you don't want to rough up your nails so bad but you want to just give them a little grit so that there's something to kind of stick on you know once you do that you can go in with your cuticle clipper if you need to neaten up your edges of your nails and then proceed to start pressing on the nails and to put on the press ones i like to put one dot of glue on the nail itself as well as one dot of glue on my natural nail and then when i put it on i like to hold and press it for a good 30 seconds in order to make sure that it's adhering properly i also try to make sure i keep the same pressure the whole time so that i'm not moving that glue around by like kind of lifting up on it prematurely so that's how i put them on so this is what the finished product looked like. And don't they look so freaking good, y'all? <laughs> I was so sad that I had to pop them off right after because the plastic press on itself just wasn't strong enough to withstand my daily duties. But hey, they were cute for a moment. You know, it was a cute little look, cute little vibe, you know, cute summer nail look. You know, I was so sad. I really was. I was like so sad to have to take them off. But you want to put your cuticle oil on and also go in with some lotion, you know, just to zhuzh up your hands so they're not looking dry and crusty after completing your look. Um, I also like to use the bio oil on my hands as well um, because I do have some scars there and on my wrist. Um, but yeah, they're looking good. So after having to take off those orange nails, I was so sad about it, but I did have some press-on nails that I did just already have at home. Um, these press-ons were by the brand Goldfinger, and they're just a little cute pink color. They got like even like a chroma with the hologram on some of the nails, you know, and they were just really cute. Um, Goldfinger brand um, nails, they really do withstand time for me a lot. And then I also went in and changed my toe color to white just so that it looks better together. And then you'll also see that on certain nails, I have like little white designs going on. So like on that thumb that you see, and then on my other hand, the other thumb, I did that myself using some white nail polish that I used on my toes, y'all. So hey, <laughs> it was cute. And then also after completing like your painting of your nails and everything, you'll want to go in with some Equate nail polish remover or whatever brand that you like to use. Um, I love their new bottles as well, though. Like, this this is, like, a real come up, y'all. Because I can't tell you how many times, like, if I was doing my nails, that I would drop, like, a whole thing of nail polish on the floor. But I'm loving their new bottles. But you'll just want to take some Q-tips and then you can clean around the edges of your nails in order to get any excess polish off. Hey, guys. So today what I did is I curled my hair with a hot curling iron and then I went through with my flexi rods and then you know I put on my makeup you know but look at these curls like give me life I got a shirt on backwards because when I did my makeup I put a shirt over like if I'm wearing like a white shirt just to protect it to make sure I'm good so yeah we got the nails on fleek the whatever designs by me and then a little groovy nail groovy nail 
It's like my nose ring in. Tonight we're rocking the stud. But for my lip combo today, I'm doing the NYX Way Lip Liner Color Club Hopper. My fake lip filler. I wanna get my lips done one day, you guys. But this is my uh, Milani Keep It Plump Nourishing Lip Plumper. And this is in the color number, well, number five for blush. So I'm gonna put this on as well. Yeah, other than that, I'm gonna go ahead and take my hair out. My sister, she made this bracelet for me. As a K for Kimberly. She has a business called Tina Charms. She currently took a break, so I don't know if she's gonna do it again, but if she does, I will let y'all know. So I also did go in on my edges on the following day in order to kind of like try to swoop it in place, you know, because even though I don't have like my hair exposed on that side, just in case my hair flew back just a little bit, at least we got like a little styled up edge for people to look at, you know. So on this day, I did do some blue makeup in order to match my jumpsuit outfit. So at this time, just cue the Cardi B beat because period, okay? I got the jumpsuit on. Okay, come through walking out. Okay, oh, what? Oh, number two? Walk through number two? Period. <laughs> so hey guys, here I am, fully dressed. And the outfit I showed you guys in the start of the video. So here are my heels, of course. And then I got my romper on. Honestly though, I don't think I'm gonna step out on these heels. I'm about to put on some sparkly flats because I'm gonna be uncomfortable all night. And these. So I have my little purse and it has diamonds all over it. And then I'm also just rocking my romper here. Okay. Yeah, y'all, this romper is giving what it's supposed to give. Okay. Got me looking thick out here. Also, for a close up, you can see I got my makeup. I did blue today so that it'll match my outfit. I've done my makeup like three times since I installed my hair, but this is the final completed look, so. Yeah, I hope that you guys love the video. Also, make sure that you like, comment, subscribe below. Let me know if you want to see anything else. But thank you again for watching, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, deuces. I gotta do my, my deuces up front so y'all can get the real tea of these nails. These are some bomb press ones.